No power. Car attempts to start, but it won't. It kind of bogs out. Interesting, the car will kind of start, but then it turns off. All right, I opened the door so we can get a better listen. The car is going to attempt to start and it'll kind of just bog out. Okay, so after about the sixth, seventh try to try to start the car on, it kind of turned on, bogged a little bit, and then now it stayed on. So we're gonna see the codes flashing. When this occurred three weeks ago, my diagnostic tool told me that this is a throttle body code. So I'll show you guys again to see what that code is. All right, I'm gonna be plugging in the OBD scan tool and to locate where to plug this in, it's going to be on this left driver side. And by the way, you guys have a TPMS recalibrate button here if you didn't know. But looking down here on this far left side, you'll see it right there. Now that it's daytime, I'm going to show you guys how to quickly locate where to plug in. It's going to be your hood open release there. And if we look under, it's going to be right there. All right, so just a better look. I have it plugged in there. And again, it's right here. Keep in mind, the little plug-in point can push up. So just make sure to work it down with your hand. And then what we're gonna see here is it's gonna tell me to turn the ignition on and then press any key. So we see you have one code found. We're going to press read code, pending code, and we're gonna see it's the throttle actuator. So maybe it's gunked up. This is a 2013 Accord, so this car has been on the road for about 10, 11 years now. I think this car was manufactured in July 2012. So it's about 10, 11 year old car. We can see the throttle body is having some sort of performance issue. So maybe it's gunked up, maybe it needs to be cleaned. But there you have your code, which is P101, generic. So then what I could do is press exit, 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 exit. It's gonna say erase codes, enter. And we're gonna see that it's gonna tell me erase failure, turn key on with engine off. So let's hope the car starts up after this. So there I have the ignition on, but the vehicle is off. I'm gonna try it again. We see the codes on the dash. I'm gonna press erase. Erase, erase done. So we should see those codes disappear on startup if the car starts up, let's hope it does. Okay, there we go. We still have some flashing lights. Traction control is not working. We have TPMS flashing. Let me try to read codes while I still have you guys plugged in here. Pending codes. Again, I'm still having that code come up. A lot of the lights did go away, but we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna turn the car off and then have it just with the ignition on. All right, let's see if I have pending codes. Okay, exit. I'm going to try again to erase codes. Erase done. We still see that there is a flashing light there. So again, this has happened twice now in about a month. The first time happened about a month ago and then it's happening today as well. Let's see if I start the car. So car starts up, codes are gone now, but I wanna get that throttle body checked out and it could be gunked up, seized up. I'm probably just gonna take it in to do that one. Um, it's a little finicky to get that valve opened and cleaned. So I'm probably just gonna take it in. For that throttle body or throttle actuator code we're getting, we can see here we have the air box. And we're gonna have it right around here is where we have our throttle body, our throttle actuator code. It's right in there. So basically I'm going to take it into the mechanic. I'll have him do this as well because I already have the car in here for the valve cover gasket and the valve is getting adjusted. 
So what he's probably gonna do is just remove this air hose and then try to clean it maybe with some solution, some carb cleaner, something along those lines and he'll probably diagnose it. This is something I can mess with myself, but since I already have the car in here for this service, I'll have him look at that. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. So yeah, that's how you clear the code with this OBD scan tool. It's a temporary fix, and again, the car could do that at any point again, but at least the car's starting. We know it's probably not a starter issue, it's not a battery issue, it's probably just the uh, throttle body that's not opening, or maybe it's, it's struggling to open up. So, I'm going to take that in, have some local mechanic clean it up. Hopefully that fixes the issue. But for those of you that are getting that code or a wonky start, you guys heard it in the video, hopefully, that it kind of wants to start up and then it'll bog and turn off. Looking under the hood with the engine off, you're going to see the air box here. You follow this along. And from the top view, you can see it right here. Right in there. My engine's cool right now, so I can lean on it no problem, but just be keeping in mind that this will be hot if you do have the engine running. So I did get that cleaned. You can see some of the gunk there. Reason I paid someone to clean the throttle body is that I was replacing the valve cover gasket. You can see here it's nice and clean now, no more leaks. Since I was going to replace the valve cover gasket and I needed to get the valves adjusted anyway, I went ahead for them to clean the injectors while they were at it and to clean the throttle body since it was giving me issues. With that said, let me know if you guys are having the same issue or you're having this problem or you learned how to resolve this with your own experience. Have a great day, have a great evening, Striker out.